Hey guys, this week I want to talk to you about dental implants. Dental implants, anyone that's thinking about getting a dental implant, this is information that you really need to know. I want to talk to you about implant failure and contamination in implants and how to protect yourself. My name is Bill Watson. I'm a smile designer with a company called BrighterImageLab.com. We clean up a lot of dental implant failure or cosmetic failure. I can show you case after case after case where their dental work has just failed. Right now, if you're considering a dental implant, there's some warning signs you need to worry about. You don't want to regret your dental implant. There's a thing that we have to worry about. It's called periimplantitis. You don't want that implant to fail. And you damn sure don't want it to be for something that you didn't do. So let me jump in. I want to tell you about some recent data. In 2019, the FDA shows that 2.1 million dental implants have failed. That's a lot when you consider that data is really not that old. It doesn't include errors and emissions, and it doesn't include the people who don't complain about their implants. 50% of all manufactured dental implants have some degree of contamination after they've been sterilized. That's enough to cause periimplantitis, which is the failure of that implant the day that it was put in. I went to Cologne, Germany, and there's a dental show there. It's called the IDS, it's the International Dental Show. Anybody who's anybody in dental is gonna wanna go there. We always follow innovation, design, and technology. We want to be on the forefront. I met the founder, of cleanimplant.org. His name is Dr. Dirk Tuttick. He gave me his insight on how implants need to be self-regulated among dentists and how failures need to be avoided. If there wasn't a problem, they wouldn't have a foundation. They want to advance the cause of osteointegration, which is once a dental implant procedure is done, that it's successful and it stays. The reason why I want to bring it to you is so that you know how to advocate for yourself when you make these purchases. Go with the very best in the business or go with the alternative. If you don't have the time to do your due diligence, you're not, you don't have the time to get the implant. Go with the doctors that know what they're talking about. I think more people in America need to know about cleanimplant.org. They have another website called cleanimplantforyou.org. Go on there, make sure that whatever doctor you choose is listed as a doctor that uses implants that have been certified as clean. I think that will start the process off to where you've advocated for yourself and it shows the doctors that you're fully engaged. When you go to cleanimplant.org, there's a lot of resources for you to learn about what to do and what not to do. And look at the pictures. The implant industry is growing so fast that it needs to be better regulated. It's gonna come from companies like cleanimplant.org. Again, I wanna thank Dr. Dirk Dudek. Remember, you wanna avoid implantitis and you wanna be successful with your osteointegration. You wanna make sure that when that implant is installed in your bone, that it integrates as part of your mouth and is accepted. So with that, I hope this video has helped. If I've helped you comment, if you're a dentist, you don't agree, comment. If you already know that you're gonna get dental implants, you should at least know how to advocate and don't get started on day one with implants that were contaminated that nobody knew about. Now you're smarter, helps you make smarter decisions. Make sure you go to cleanimplant.org and do it right now. Thank you guys, goodbye.